This skirt went viral. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got some bits and pieces to show you. You know, it's um, <clears throat> the moment where we find out whether <laughs> Vestia Collective is gonna be a place I keep shopping at or not, you know. <laughs> I ordered my last piece and if you watched which video was it hold on let me figure out what video it is because I don't quite remember now my brain's just turned into mush it was to all the luxury items I've sold if you haven't watched that video I'll leave it linked down below I've also got a few new pieces from cars which are on their way so I'm probably gonna have to film that part of the video a little while after like a few days from now because they haven't arrived yet and I did want to just put all that together and show you all the pieces which I've got but yes before we get into things guys if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing and turn on post notifications so you never ever miss a video I post up every Wednesday and Saturday and we focus on fashion and luxury without further ado let's dive into the unboxing this is the whole big thing as to why I will never ever shop well potentially never ever shop on Vestia Collective again this is the last like <laughs> last order and it could go one of two ways everything will be determined by this order right here and um yeah i thought i would open it up with you guys because oh i'm praying right now that this is the way that i'm expecting it to look because <laughs> if it's not i'm gonna cry so oh my gosh let's open it up <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is the most weirdest material I've ever felt. Very nice, fancy, fancy. I've been needing a good puffer coat and, oh, this is perfect. Hold on, let me try it on. <gasps> Yay, look at this. Let me do it up. What's going on with the zip? This zip is messing around now. You're giving me bad vibes right now. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes, I like it. I love the color. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay, Vestia, you haven't let me down for the first, second time in your life. This is what it looks like fully done. Nice big pockets. <gasps> I really like it, guys. It's the most strangest looking coat ever because it looks like velvet, but it's not velvet. It doesn't feel like velvet. It's so weird, guys. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but it has like a velvety effect on it. What kind of material is this? Oh, it's stunning. I really, really like it. Let me move this to the side. Be gone. There we go. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like my new coat? Do, do, do. It's from Off-White, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. I never understood these, okay? Like, am I meant to leave this on now? When am I meant to take it off? I just, that label is, I don't know. <laughs> it's given me, I'm gonna wear you for a few days and return you kind of vibe. I saw Farfetch selling this same jacket for 2,000 <laughs> pounds. Do you know how much I paid for it? <laughs> like, I got a bargain on this coat. It's goose feather, downs, downs goose feather. <laughs> <laughs> on the inside so it's really really nice and soft and just oh, it's gonna keep me warm in the winter and I really really like really needed something this length. Vestia Collective you've done bloody fantastic right I'm gonna shop with you going forward just um <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful about my purchases like extra extra careful because yeah we've made too many mistakes with you <laughs> Hello my gorgeousnesses, I'm back to finish off this video, let me start with what I'm wearing now, I have a few more bits and pieces to show you, okay, more than I intended to because I went a little bit crazy on the shopping, you know, <laughs> some of the things are experiments and we'll get into that in a minute, but this skirt, what do you guys think, I'm in love, okay, hold on, let me move this, there, much better. This winter I'm making more effort to wear skirts and yeah I really like it however this is a size small and it is a tad too short. I have it in a black as well which is a medium that's too big but it's long enough. I'll get the black one and show you guys really quickly. This is the black one and the material on this is really different to this one here so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that 
the grey one that I've ordered in a medium because at the time I ordered these two skirts there was no medium size in the dark grey so I'm hoping that now that I have ordered it in a medium it's um gonna be different to this one because this is really big it doesn't fit on my waist it's like hanging but I guess it's a good thing because I can pull it down a little longer because this is way, way, way... I'm not going to turn around. Maybe I will. My butt cheeks are right there, you know. Imagine going upstairs or an escalator. Everyone's going to get a view of something. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. But yeah, I just thought I would show you these skirts. I think they're really, really cute. They're not even skirts. Sorry. It's a skirt. <laughs> I've got shorts under here, guys. <laughs> well, hey. But yeah, for me, anything that kind of... Oh shows my tattoo is a little bit too short. I've also ordered a pair of knee-high boots with a platform and fingers crossed they look good. I'm really really hoping because every single boot that I've ordered knee-high literally sits right above here so when I'm walking the boot is like rubbing against my crease and like it's literal bounce smack in the middle because I've got short little stumpy legs and it's very frustrating so I'm still on the hunt for a knee-high boot okay so this next item is a mad one okay I'm just gonna get it out like this because this is just driving me mad all right all right all right oh my gosh this skirt went viral okay literally viral <laughs> Oh my gosh! This is not a skirt, guys! This is a belt! Are you joking me? Okay, okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's pull this up so you guys can get the full view. Oh my gosh! I mean, I have to pull it down, halfway down my butt, because... <laughs> no! People actually wear this out, are you crazy? Oh my goodness! What on earth? Look at this, guys! Like, you literally, it's like... <laughs> this was not made for anyone with a butt, because it's literally like... it's. Can you see here? It's like gaping because my butt is like pushing it out. This is for someone who's literally like that. Let's see how this looks as an actual belt. There we go. I mean, much better as, as a belt. I mean, it's a little bit <laughs> big at the back. All these luxury houses and brands are using us as a social experiment to see just how far they can push the boundaries because I, I can't, I can't, I can't get over this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Why would anyone even buy this? Like what in the haberdashery is going on? This is a skirt. Can we just get that into our brains? Process it. Like right now my brain isn't comprehending that this is actually made to be a skirt. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you basically can't have a butt if you want to wear this, and you have to be smaller. Also, I think it's ridiculous that there's no like sizing to it because the Velcro is sticking out right there. So it's a one size fits all kind of situation going on. And if it doesn't fit you, well, then that's your own personal problem. You better hit the gym or do those runs and burpees to get yourself to the size that is required for you to fit into this belt. <laughs> It's, it's, it's mental. Honestly, it's, I can't even, I'm like, <laughs> blown away. But yes, anyways, moving on from this social experiment that I decided to take part in. I can't get over that this is actually a skirt. Let's put this back down because I'm going to end up going on and on and on. And I'm sure you guys want to see the other bits and pieces that I got, not just that skirt. So from Cars, I got these wonderful trousers, which... I'm in love with. They're a pair of wide leg trousers. You guys know I love my wide legs. My favorite places to shop for wide leg trousers, Cos is number one at the moment. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. I think all their stuff is quality and I just really love the fit of them as well. Oh God, someone's at my door. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted by the Amazon driver? <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I really, really, really love Cos, Cos's trousers. I have a few pairs of their wool trousers. 
let me just catch my breath because those stairs just killed me a little bit. Um, woo. I get all my trousers in a size 38. <laughs> and the reason why I always get size 38 is because I have quite the big quads, which means if I want my trousers to look baggy around my legs, then I have to go for the bigger sizes, which means around my waistline it is a little bit on the bigger side, but I don't really mind it because usually whenever I do wear my wide leg trousers, I've always got a jumper or a t-shirt covering the top half, so it's not really a big issue. Also, you know, when you eat and that bloat decides to come along, you know, you're well equipped and ready for that. <laughs> am I allowed to show you guys? Yes, I am allowed, surely. I've seen people do this. I'll just cover myself like this, just in case. Um, the next, oh, here we go, see? Another pair from COS as well. These say they're wool, 100% wool, but they don't have that kind of feel to it. It kind of feels a bit like cotton, if anything. Not wool, but again, I actually really like the color of these. Look, see that? They're just a bit big. I think now I should get a size 36 in these because 38 is, yeah, it's not, it's not looking okay. Even on my legs, like there's a lot of room there. So I think I could definitely size down in these ones, but I'm in love with the color. Like the color is stunning. Look at this. Oh guys, fabulous, fab. Let's put on our sunglasses. I don't know where I'm going in a tank top in the middle of winter, like so, but. <laughs> and I forgot about this. I don't think they're on these ones though. Let me check. No, they don't have them on these. These are not adjustable. These are adjustable. They have the adjustable waist which I think is so good and so, so handy. So here's me complaining, forgetting that actually they are adjustable and you can tighten up the waist. Okay, so now I have a little set and this little set looks like, I'm not too sure about this. The reason why I'm not too sure about it is because I was hoping that it would be thicker, not particularly the shirt, but the trousers that go with the shirt. The material is really, really light, which makes this more suitable to spring as opposed to winter, which is why I'm in two minds about keeping it. But I absolutely loved the sleeves. You've got a really, really long cuff and then you can tuck it in like so and then just unbutton a few buttons to make it look a little bit more sexier and there you go you know you've got the wide leg trousers very very comfy elasticated band they sit very flattering on your buttocks legs everything it's just really really nice really really like this outfit a lot do i keep it do i send it back it's over 200 pounds on just this set alone so yeah questions need to be answered very very soon what do we think about this jacket <gasps> i saw it on the website and i was like oh yes i'm in love you guys would have seen that in my video which i talk about all the luxury items that i've sold recently i spoke about my frankie shop coat that i sold that green beautiful long john coat that i had and when i saw this i was like yes i found a replacement for that so i ordered it but I was a little bit disappointed and I'm not gonna lie. The reason why is because the green isn't greening, okay? <laughs> like I wanted that Bottega green. This is kind of a washed out green and that's why I'm not 100% sure about it. Like I was a little bit surprised when I saw it and I received it, I was like, oh, it's not, it's not that bright green, that bright, vivid, beautiful Bottega green that we all love so much. Oh. Hi, honey. Hi, I'm just here with my green bag, my green jacket, looking all fabulous. Let's get a pair of sunnies on. Oh, hello, hello, dear. How do we do? Oh, look at this. Oh, I might actually, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> I don't know if this is just me, right? But do any of you feel like whenever you try on clothes and you're not wearing any makeup, the outfit just looks rubbish. Like whatever it is that you try on just looks like absolute trash. The minute you try that same thing on, with a full face of makeup, your hair done, you're like, oh, I look fabulous. <laughs> Is it just me or do you guys feel the same? Because honestly, it does drive me mad. I can never, ever, ever get a true, like, I can never figure out if I really like something unless I'm fully, like, done up. Because if I try something on, I'll hate it straight away. I'll be like, no, that looks horrible. What am I doing? Okay, on to the last couple of bits. And these are two tops that I actually got from Ted Baker. And 
I'm in love with them so 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 much look at this we have a white one and we have a black one I'm gonna put them on for you so you can see what they look like obviously because there's no point of me just showing you and not actually trying them on but I love these tops so so much first of all so easy to get on even when you have makeup on it's fabulous this is what it looks like obviously I wear my wide leg trousers with this because you know that's what I like to wear the most and a nice coat over the top and Bob's your uncle there we go how pretty is it I love like love 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 the sweetheart neckline your, your booby a little bit but it's not like too too it's not distasteful I'll try on the black one so you can see what that looks like but I love the black one as well I had to get them both this is the black version which I'm in love with look at that it's so pretty isn't it guys it's just a very very flattering top and so so simple and elegant with a nice long coat on a nice pair of black woolen trousers they are very very stretchy as you guys can see right over here they stretch a lot so I would recommend sizing down and take a size smaller than what you would usually take so that it does fit you properly oh goodness me I tell you what trying on clothes is a workout believe me I'm always sweating at the end of it <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the weekend and a beautiful start to the week. I shall catch you in Wednesday's video. Take care. Bye.